Hey everyone, I'm Armozy and welcome back to Let's Play The Darkest Dungeon. So, let's continue where we left off. This is going to be a level 3 run, actually. There is a decent one available. Explore 90% of all rooms. We can do that. I'll have to bring the leper from the looks of it because I don't really have anyone decent for the front row. This is going to be the group, probably. I could bring this mass in the front row. Maybe I could buy point blank shot for him, which is not a terrible idea. I'll bring the leper. Well, he's not really upgraded at all. He does have the mask, which is pretty good. Plus 20% maximum health, plus 15% damage and plus 2 speed. I want to level him up just because of this item. It's pretty good. Right, let's level him up then. That means I have to improve his skills at least a bit. I want to swap any skills? Probably not. Intimidate is not terrible. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use focus at all. Okay, we can grab Intimidate. That might be useful-ish. Revenge. Plus 40% damage, minus 10 accuracy, no. Alright. So, let's level up the core skills. That's a no-brainer. Level up Intimidate. And Withstand. I don't really need to level Withstand. I mostly use it for the stress reduction. And it's not worth spending 400 gold to get 2% protection from it. Okay, level up Intimidate, like this, and that will do. Get some better weapons for him, and armor. This was not a cheap upgrade, definitely not. Next up, this guy. Okay, he has everything he needs except armor. Next up, the Grave Robber. What about her skills? Yeah, I need to level up the skills a bit. Flashing daggers. Yep, and thrown dagger as well. What else is she using? Shadow fade. It's decent. In case I get pulled to the front, then I can use shadow fade. Alright then. I'll pass on upgrading it for now. And our healer. She needs better gear and some leveled up skills. Oh wow, she needs a lot of level ups. Okay, that was a lot of money. We are down to 15,000. Let's do the run then. That's our group. You should be right here. Back here and in the front. Alright, I'll bring more food this time. I definitely will. 20 food. Should be good enough. Two shovels, full stack of torches. We can bring holy water. And maybe skeleton key. Alright, let's go. Holy water is usually more useful in the warrens than in the wild. To prosecute our war against the swine, we must let's go. Scout their squalid homes. And we got some lot already. Good start. We got some busts. I don't exactly need them, but alright. Empty. Let's check the dungeon layout. Doesn't look too bad. I'll have to check this room at least. We got some scouting information. There's a trap on the way. 20% for the grave robbery. There we go. Disarmed. I can let my light drop a little bit. It's fine. More scouting. Alright, I could go like this. I'll have to backtrack one way or the other. Yeah. That's unavoidable. So I could move like this and then backtrack. Hmm. I want to check these two objects right here. But if this hallway was empty, I'd probably go this way. Hmm. 
Oh, can I use holy water on this? No, I don't think so. I'm not really sure which objects holy water interacts with. I remember like one or two. Okay, we got some treasure. Some gold and food. Alright. I can keep my light like this for now. More scouting. This room is empty. Okay, holy water will work on this, but not when the leopard loses it automatically. Never mind. Eat already? Okay. 35. One more torch before the next room. More scouting. There's a fight in the hallway. That's good. River, Worm and Marcher. We can do that. So what to kill first? Marcher? I could pull him towards me. Alright, let's do that. 17 more damage. That's a stun right there and it's a crit. That was pretty bad. Not a great start, that's for sure. Pick to the face. And we need 9 more damage. Hmm. 78% chance to hit. Nope. I was hoping I'll do 9 damage with that attack. While doing damage to the worm at the same time, but no. That was fairly unlucky though. I can use judgment here. Nice. That'll kill myself. At the same time, from Dagger to get the accuracy buff, that's the last chance to get that buff before I kill the Marcher. Now I'll kill the Marcher for sure. Okay, the river will attack me one more time, but that's okay. We're bleeding. I could heal myself if I want to. Plus 7. Decent enough. Pick to the face. Need some more than that. And maybe reduce our stress a little. And kill it with judgment. So far so good. We got more food. Food definitely won't be a problem. Some portraits. And there will be a room fight in here. There might be some room fights. Down here on the left side. But let's focus on this one. So, priority target? Probably the Marcher. Yeah, I don't like extra stress too much. And then the Swine Spawn? Your terrible assault cannot be left yep, unanswered. more stress. And now we're marked and debuffed at the same time. Not great. Prone Dagger? Oh, nice! <laughs> I mostly did that for the accuracy buff. Well struck. But that was a kill! 11. Was hoping to do more than that. And we got crit again. Great. This was not a good fight. We might actually get Death's Door at this rate. Yeah, we got Death's Door. From becoming unwound. At least we're not bleeding or anything like that. But I don't want to lose level 3 characters. Yeah. That would be a pretty expensive loss. So... Kill that swine marcher. That was exactly the damage I needed. Well, he's attacking the healer. And he managed to stun her. That's not good. Not good at all. Let's kill them faster. I can't heal on this turn. I can't heal at all. Nine. And a crazy buff again. There we go. That's one kill. We need literally one more damage. Well, we can do that with Judgment, but I would like to heal the Occultist. Yeah, let's heal the Occultist. We'll get attacked one more time. But it was worth it, kind of. I suppose I can reduce my stress a bit. That's 49 stress. Oh, we'll get attacked one more time. I want to use the Bleed heal. Or whatever. Before I finish this fight. 
because that's up to 16 with my current rank. 0 to 16. So this is potentially a lot of healing. Plus 9. Plus 9 is not terrible. Right, let's kill this. Bye. I got some extra stress because we took too much time, but I healed the occultist. So too will resistance. Not risking a death is more important than a little bit of extra stress. This might be extra food. Or not. And nothing happened. Yep. Alright, let's move on then. Disarm the trap. No, I didn't want to do that. We're at 59 stress, which is not great. I should probably keep my light level high if stress is a problem. But I'm going to camp soon. So I don't want to use too many torches. There's a room fight over there. Box. What's that? Lorker. Plus 10% damage when light is below 25. Holy water should work on this. Yep. And we got... Oh, we removed some stress. Good. That's perfect, actually. Alright. I'll check this room and then camp. So, Swine Tor, Marcher and Spawn. This is a tough one. I want to kill the Marcher. Alright. And I need the Swine Tor to be in the front. So it's best to just kill these two guys. Like that, nice. That will reduce our stress a bit as well. Now we need to kill the swine spawn, preferably. Hmm. Well, knockback won't work. Knockback would be a little bit silly too. I'll just start doing damage then. 14 damage is decent. We dodged. Now he will retreat. He does that even if he misses, which is pretty annoying, but whatever. We'll kill the swine spawn and he won't get a chance to charge us, hopefully. We need one more hit. We need literally two more damage. Mortality and we got more stress. Down it goes. And now the swine torp isn't as dangerous anymore. Just kill it. He can obviously still do damage, but the other attack is way more dangerous. Let's do some healing. Nice, plus 12. 13. We need one more hit. He will attack us one more time. That's fine. Do some more healing, perhaps. Nice. Perfect. One more heal. I'm pretty sure I'll get a chance to attack one more time. Yeah. He's done. Does not the I loot all of that. Grab this. Oh, we got a disease or something. No, we resisted. One more room and then we'll come. Is there a fight in there? Yes, there is. I could let my life drop and then camp in that room, but it will drop below 25, which is not very safe, let's just say. But I can do it. It's pretty dangerous, especially with a leper in the group. Alright, let's do it. I have a feeling I'll regret that. Enchantress, Eater, and the Large Corpse Eater. We did not get surprised, that's good. Let's kill that Enchantress. Or she can dodge. That was a wasted mob. Start doing damage to the Large Corpse Eater. Oh, <laughs> we actually killed it in one hit, awesome. That's what I like to see. Should be easy to finish now, and we can come after this fight. From Dagger for some accuracy. And Judgment. That wasn't enough damage. We need two more. We'll get some extra stress. Plus 21. Oh well. Rip. Very nice crit. And we can use our skeleton key. Clear some inventory space. Anything good in there? We got... I don't really need anti-venom all that much. So I think I'll pass on that. I could use the deeds. Possibly. Bleed charm. 
plus 10% bleed resist, minus 1% crit, that's not so useful, I don't think I'm going to use that at all. Yeah, I think I'll just destroy that. I'm not going to use that on anyone. Alright, now we can rest. Circle in the dark. We can afford to feast, we have a lot of food. Alright. Reduce stress by 20, plus 10 accuracy, that's really good. What's this? Reduce stress, everyone increases stress. I still had a buff somewhere. Improve scouting chance, I don't really need to scout all that much. Reduce stress. Plus 20% damage. On random companion. Hmm. Increase stress on himself by 15. Plus 10 accuracy, plus 10 dodge. Accuracy for the leper, that's pretty obvious. Reduce chance of nighttime ambush. I can reduce stress by 10, so I can get plus 20% damage on one person at the cost of 5 stress. That's a good deal. Oh, I can pick the person. Okay, leper then. I thought it's going to be random. But that's pretty good. Now he has plus 20 accuracy. Plus 20% damage and plus 10 dodge. And we can still do something. I don't need scouting chance. I can use stress resist, I suppose. For this guy, because he's at 43. Alright, now we're done. Should be easy to finish the run, but you never know. I'm looking forward to doing level 5 dungeons. The promise of safety. We are getting close to level 5 dungeons. A few more runs should be enough. Ancient to have 4 level 5 make. heroes. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. Level 5 dungeons actually got buffed in one of the recent patches. The difficulty got increased across the board for all level 5 dungeons. So I don't expect them to be a walk in the park, which is why I need to be prepared. I definitely need five, uh, four level 5 heroes. Anyway, let's finish this run. We are almost done. We need two more rooms. Three more rooms. There's at least one more fight. I could just go through these two rooms and then do this fight. But with all these buffs, Fights aren't exactly a big problem. What's this? Oh, he's going to loot that. Okay, fine. Oh, extra stress. Whatever. He's at 38 now. No fight in this room. Let's just keep moving this way. More loot? Oh, she will loot this. Already loaded. I might need some inventory space soon. And we surprise them. Right, so large corpse eater is a bit less dangerous, but easier to kill. Slavering goal will give me more stress though. And I don't like that. Yeah, I, I think I'll kill the goal first. Maybe. I can't really do that reliably, because the leper can hit the goal. But my other characters can. With from Dagger. I can actually hit him with pick to the face. Yeah, I don't like stress, especially when I'm at 56 already. He will attack me at least once. Okay. Ron Dagger might be better because accuracy buff, but 90% chance to hit? I was hoping to get a crit. That was 25% chance to crit. Fourteen damage. Oh, he's attacking the healer. Alright, whatever. Plus 18 stress. That was the least stressed person, ironically enough. So that didn't really matter at all. Can we kill it yet? We need one more hit. There we go. Now you get a crit. A little bit too late for that. But I'll take the stress reduction. And he's done. We got one torch. 
Not that it's going to be amazingly useful. Marcher, Spawn, Gladiator, and River. Alright, I want that Marcher first, I think. Yep, I definitely do. Get over here, or not? He actually resisted. Okay. We're bleeding. Hmm. I could use Intimidate to try to knock back the River. That. Oh! Awesome! <laughs> 32 crit! He resisted the move, but we almost killed him in one hit. Okay. I expected a different outcome, but I'm okay with this. We'll get some extra stress. Nope, we won't. Okay. Kill that river before he gets a chance to attack us. Alright, the rest should be pretty easy. I could stun the gladiator, but nah. Use frown dagger. To get some accuracy. We need one decent hit on the marcher. The runs. Oh, is that minus accuracy? No, minus dodge, minus maximum hit points. That's pretty nasty, too. He's down. Yeah, I'll have to get rid of that when I'm back in town. Another bleed? Nope. Judgment? Heal? I don't need heals. We're fine. I can try to stun that thing. Yep. And like that, he's down. Didn't even need that stun. We need one more room. These nightmarish creatures this? can be felled. Plus 15% move resist at the cost of minus one speed. Bounty hunter only. I don't think I want to use that. No, not really. One more room. Oh great, he's going to load this. I was going to skip it. Well, we got some food. Not that I needed it. Worms and spawn. Now we got surprised. Let's see. Kill the spawn. Very nice. 49 stress. Yeah, our stress is under control. Pick to the face. How much damage is that? I won't kill them unless I get a crit. Let's just get the extra accuracy. Now I can kill it. One more worm. And he's down. Remind yourself that hmm. overconfidence is a That skeleton key might be useful. Play. I don't think I'm going to use the unmovable helmet at all, ever. Yeah, I'm not going to use that. Get rid of that. We'll pick up the key. I'll pass on the rest. I don't need the shovel. So holy water might be useful. I don't think it will be, but I definitely won't need the shovel. Last room. Unless I want to check that room down there. I suppose I could check what this is. Not really a big deal. Let's go there really quick and check what that is. But we're done. We got some good money. There might be something in this room as well, but... I know there's something here, so I'm going to check that, and then leave. It's probably going to be something completely useless. Kind of. I think holy water works on this. Yep. Well, we got some money. That wasn't completely useless. How much gold is that? Around 17,000, I think. A bit less than that. Oh, only 12,000. Okay. Could have been worse. We are very close to level 4. Unyielding. Plus 10% death blow resist. That's nice. Extra scouting chance in the warrants. Obsessed with sainthood. Right. Now I have to remove the runes. I think I that was... The sun shone. On... The, could be heard from the, the occultist? Yep. That was on the occultist. Alright, and I guess this episode is done, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.